Hello friends! If you like quick scrapbook layouts, then this video is for you. I'm taking one of Close to My Heart's Cut Above layout kits, this one right here, and I'm going to change it up just a little bit to suit my needs, but keep the integrity of the design. So come along and see how I change it up to fit different size photos and to add a title. I'm going to add some extra flowers. I cut these out of a piece from a different layout from this kit from a retired die set. And there's also these stickers and some punch out sheets. I love these kits because they come with everything that you need to put your layout together from stickers, die cuts, um, photo mats, base pages, and everything. Now this one that I'm putting together is no longer available. It's designed to be a calendar kit, but there is another calendar kit available and there are other versions of these cut above kits available. The cut above kit basically just means that everything is pre-cut and designed for you and you just punch it apart and put it together um, but you'll see how I'm gonna do today I love to take these as a jumping off point it makes really really fast layouts but it's also easy to change up to suit your needs like this one called for only one photo and I'm using um, well, four, but three of them are kind of on that film strip. I got this from the photographer and um, one of them's kind of a Polaroid looking one. And so um, they're still kind of going in the same place, but just changing it up. And then this was designed to be the cover page of the calendar. So it didn't have a title. So I'm going to be adding a title as well. I wanted to keep those three photos in the film strip because I like how it told the story of the succession of capturing my daughter running around our front yard and then the other one was I think just the cutest one out of the um, photo shoot where she was running around so I decided to keep those all together and matte the whole thing in black I thought that the black matte really stood out well against the rest of the layout um, so you can see how that uh, black and white kind of polka dot piece looks like it's matted in black it's just printed that way but I thought that you know all of the pops of black really um, tied well with the black mat that we have here one of my good friends was actually the photographer for these photos. She is a professional photographer and she came to visit. She lived in California at the time and we lived in Oregon. I hadn't seen her in a long time and she wanted to do this cute little photo shoot for my daughter who was just about to turn two. So she got some really, really cute photos of her running around our front yard and running around our backyard and with me in them and posing for some birthday shots and are surrounded by Elmo stuff which was her favorite at the time so I am really glad that I have these photos capturing this moment in time and speaking of moment in time I thought moments would be the perfect title for this page because that's really what it was so I had those letters they're like thick letters they might be thickers in my stash and decided to use that so I lined them up on that clear roof ruler but decided that I am going to hold off on adding it beef until I have more of this page kind of figured out. So these are some of the flowers that go along with this layout and then like I said I'm going to be adding more as well. So the design called for the flowers to be kind of in the top left where I had them and then down in the bottom right but further down from where I'm putting them but I wanted them to be kind of tucked over this photo right here and then I'll tuck some of these banners. I didn't like that blue one because it just blended into that blue background it was on. So I cut out a little red one out of that same paper that I cut these flowers out of which was a piece from one of the other layouts in this kit like I mentioned so I'm gonna layer some of these red flowers I'm thinking underneath that one at the top and then one more down here at the bottom just to kind of add a little bit more bulk I love adding lots of layers in my embellishment clusters and then now that I have some of that figured out, I'm going to bring my title back in, but it's not standing out enough for me. Looking back now, I think it would have worked well if it was just right over the blue, 
but I decided to mount it onto some white cardstock and just kind of cut a little banner flag out of it. And for it to stand out even more, I added a little bit more of this red. I didn't have a long enough strip to cover the whole thing, so I just simply took two littler strips and taped them together, and no one will ever know that it's not one full solid piece. I can't even tell now looking back at the layout, which by the way, at the end of this video, I will show you a comparison of how this turned out versus the original that was in the design. I like how that looks. I think it needs to pop just a little bit more. So I'm going to take my black shimmer brush and just very carefully go around the edge so that that kind of pops off of that background since there's a lot of white in the background. So this will add some black and it'll also add just a little bit of shimmer. You could use anything for this, your ink pad, a marker or anything like that. I was thinking I might want to bring in a little bit more um, color and so I cut a couple more of that flower in yellow and I'm going to try that out down at the bottom. I wanted to bulk up those flowers just a little bit more. Um, I like these 3D flowers when they're layered up on each other so that they're more full. But I'm not sure about the yellow. I thought about it for a little bit off screen and decided I don't like that pop of yellow. I'm going to take that away and add some other flowers. I pulled some flowers from uh, some other layouts from this kit that were supposed to be on other pages. I will just replace them with something else when I get to those pages. I'm going to try the yellow over here, but I just don't love it. I do have a visual triangle with the red. I have the flower up in the top right. I have that little border underneath my title and then I have the banner in the bottom right. And that's such a strong color that I think that that is a nice um, way to draw your eye around the page. And I'm gonna add two more little pops of red with those dragonflies. So I do have an odd number of pops of red around the page. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more scatter. There were some hearts here. And then I'm gonna come back with some gems later as well, right here. I did glue everything down at this point off screen and we are down to the finishing touches. I used some journal strip stickers here to write my journaling and those are really easy to just peel off and stick onto your page. I love these journal strip stickers. Some of them come in this kit, but you can also purchase them separately. They are one of my favorite tools for scrapbooking because they are just peel and stick and you can just write whatever you want and snip them to size as well. So I'm gonna put those right there and we're gonna call this done. So let's take a close up look at everything, how it turned out. And I love that scallop border. That by the way is from the Fancy Borders die set, which I do believe is still available. And here is the original. So we added a title, we moved the journaling, we changed the photos and some of the embellishment clusters. And I really like how this turned out. If you'd like to see another kit layout reimagined, check out the video that's on screen now and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.